Hey guys, welcome back to Broke People's Guide. I have been wanting to do a video like this for a really long time because I know how hard it is and how confusing it is to get through it. So the best thing I did was I found a book called I Never Held You. Um, I think I found it on Amazon. That's the book. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. The best thing I did was to read that book. Most importantly, what I learned from that book was you have to allow yourself to grieve. What I did not understand before that was that I could grieve for a baby that I never actually gave birth to. Like, it's confusing. If you have not gone through a miscarriage, for a woman who is pregnant, and wants to have a baby. The minute you find out you're pregnant, your whole life changes. You are planning stuff in your head. Everything changes from that moment. So if months go by, you've had months to like plan this baby in your life. Like you've probably already mentally prepared. You're, you've scheduled things in your head. Like this is how I'm gonna do this. This is how this is gonna work and all that stuff. So like the minute that's taken away, it's losing someone. You actually lost someone even though they weren't like you couldn't you didn't have the chance to hold them yet you have to deal with it like it's a loss of a person that a family member what i want to talk about is the five stages of grief not only is this helpful for a miscarriage but it's important for you to deal with your emotions after a breakup the loss of a friendship a job maybe sometimes you can't control the things that happen to you but you control what happens after that you control how you handle situations one of the other important things from the book was to allow yourself to have the feelings that you have. Don't try to hide them, don't bottle them up. You know, we grew up to not talk about stuff so we don't know how to let our feelings out. We're always told to be quiet or like, don't talk about this or don't talk about that. So for a long time I didn't talk about it. After I got the book, it said to like, talk to everyone. Whoever will listen, just talk to them. So I started doing that. I talked to them, I cried to them for months. And this was like a year after my miscarriage. <clears throat> I never dealt with those emotions until that long because I didn't know I was allowed to have those feelings. When I read the book and the book told me, you are allowed to have feelings, I'm like, oh, who would have known? So I just started talking to everyone about it. I started writing about it, blogging about it. You're allowed to feel sad. If you need to cry about it, cry about it. Let yourself feel the feelings that you need to feel. So the five stages of grief. The first stage is denial or isolation. So that's when you're like, why did this happen? Why did this happen to me? You're probably like trying to stay to yourself. Like you're thinking about stuff and you're trying to figure things out. After that comes anger. Before I actually started going through the rest of the stages, I was angry for a really long time. I didn't understand why this happened to me. I was angry at everyone else who was getting pregnant and having successful pregnancies. I was angry that like, why them and not me? Am I not good enough? And that's a part of it. Like, even with breakups, losing a friendship, losing a job, uh, you can be angry. Let yourself be angry. You can be mad at the other person. You can be mad at yourself. You can be mad at your job. Like, be mad. Let out all that frustration. If you feel like someone did you wrong, I felt like the universe did me wrong and I was mad. What always helps me when I'm going through something is writing it down. I would just get in front of my computer and just start typing all my feelings, like what I was mad at. I had such a long list. Random pregnant people, angry when I see a happy couple. Why do they deserve happiness and I don't? The third stage of uh, grief is bargaining. Bargaining is when you start thinking about like what if I would have done this or what if this would have happened what if things would have went this way um, which I did a lot of what if I ate healthier what if I had started taking prenatal pills sooner what if I would have went to the doctor sooner what if I would have done this what, I, what if and then same thing with relationships and friendships what if I would have done this what if they would have done this you just start replaying everything in your head at the end of the day it happened and the moment that you realize that you need to go through this grieving process, it'll be a little bit smoother. Like, yeah, it's still gonna be painful, but you know that eventually you're gonna feel okay. And it doesn't feel like it, believe me. After miscarriage, it feels like you're never gonna feel okay. It feels like it, you're never gonna get to the point where you think you're gonna be happy again. 
same thing with breakups. Like, you go through a really bad breakup, you feel like you're never going to find happiness with a partner or even within yourself, but you can. You definitely can. The fourth stage of grief is depression. This was my favorite part, <laughs> honestly, because the depression stage is when you just let all your feelings out. And it feels really, really good to cry sometimes, all the time. Cry when you need to cry. I cried so much. I still cry a lot. <laughs> it's normal. I'm okay with it. In the book, one of the things that I liked was that it said to plan a time just to cry it out. So like one day, it was like a Thursday or something, I was like, I'm gonna go home after work, read this book, sit there and cry. I let myself cry for like an hour, like cry so hard that it hurts. Cry loud, cry like a baby, cry as much as you want to cry. You are allowed to cry, whatever the situation is. Lost a baby, lost a pregnancy, lost a job, lost a partner, whatever. Cry, let it out. Feelings are not meant to be bottled up. The fifth stage is acceptance. You finally start to accept that this happened. Uh, for me with the miscarriage, I then started to just change my mindset and I was like, you know, maybe I'm not meant to have a baby. Maybe I have a different purpose in life. You know, it was a process to get to that, but I eventually accepted it. And, and then I actually had another miscarriage after that. Go through the stages, allow yourself to have the feelings that you need to have and get to the point where you accept what is happening in your life. Try to heal yourself and allow yourself to be happy again. I'm not saying that you want to forget about everything that happened. I actually bought this necklace after I went through the acceptance stage. I dealt with this whole situation the best that I could and I didn't want to feel like I was forgetting about this baby. So I bought this to remember my my first baby that I lost. I gave her a name. I don't know if it was supposed to be a girl, but I really felt in my heart that it was gonna be a girl. And so I, t but since then I have been able to move on. So get yourself that book and leave me some comments if you wanna talk about it. I am open to talking. I'm open to chatting. My email address, it's actually in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you cried if you needed to. You're allowed to have feelings, so just remember that. To contribute to the growth of the channel, you can make a donation of any amount to my Cash App or my PayPal. The information will also be in the description and the comment section below. This is my son Eli, for those who don't know. You're my miracle baby, huh? I'm a miracle baby.